because you know, taking back and your your idea of education, there was a there was a big push uh, a while back for data driven decision making. Right. That was a, those were the key words. Right. Uh, sort of the buzzwords uh, in education, probably in other places as well. Yep. Maybe even in government in some ways. But we need the we need that data. We need the information in order to make a decision. I think that's where it fits. And then we've got to have lawmakers and people in government. Uh, and the support of the general population to say this is an important issue, this is something we need, we'll all be better off if we tackle it and come out with a good solution for it. I don't think we're there with this tribalism and nationalism and other things that are going on right now. Well, here's the other thing. The solutions are hard work. Yes, they are. Uh, Teaching children is a job that requires a tremendous amount of commitment and dedication and energy. Uh, Addressing the homeless situation requires that same kind of commitment and tremendous amount of energy. And, uh, you know, I I think sometimes people may be a little afraid of those kinds of commitments. At the same time, growing crops in a drought requires a tremendous amount of commitment and energy. So, you know, we take for granted that, well, uh, yeah, we're whoever's doing the work of farming is just going to have to suck it up and uh, have insurance to deal with the drought and come back strong. Well, you know what? Uh, I, I get that that's, if we're not successful there, we don't eat. But at the same time, if we're not successful with uh, educating our, our young, then we don't have a strong economy. And if we're not successful in addressing mental health in a homeless situation, then who are we really as human that's, beings? Yes, that's so, a great question. Who are we and yeah. what do we want? And how do we flourish in life? What is this? I mean, it, it it's almost one of those uh, basic questions and I think he he sort of addressed this at the beginning of the book uh, but I, I've heard others talk about this idea of really um, it's an existential question what are we here for what do yep. we do with our life and so forth you know he he mentioned at one point the goal of maximizing human flourishing uh, life health happiness yep. freedom knowledge love, and the richness of experience. Yep. So we've got this life to live, and we sh- probably should do a better job uh, thinking about how we want it to be and then acting on that and moving in that direction. Um, that Those are kind of tough questions for a lot of people who are just day-to-day. We're trying to figure out you know, how to, how to pay the bills and how to move to the next thing. And, and uh, uh, but, but I think that those are the big questions like that and the ones you mentioned about mental health and, and homelessness and, and the problem with that and, and coming up with a solution, coming up with a, uh, a, a, a plan to deal with that so that all people can flourish and have a great life experience. Why not look at the trends that he's got in his book? Everything's getting better, yep. so to speak, <laughs> in quotes, but... Uh, yeah, why aren't more people enjoying it, and why are we sort of stuck in some misery somewhere? Big questions. All, all I can, my only response has to do with me personally, and uh, this is a, sort of a bellwether month and year for me for a lot of reasons, yeah. but you had uh, asked me, I had mentioned to you earlier that I had been on a retreat. It was sort of a yeah. personally self-imposed retreat. I didn't go anywhere. I just hung around the house, did I, some I, reading. I really, when you said retreat in your text, and I, I really thought, wow, he's he's with a group up a, by, on a mountain. Up in the Rockies, uh, and, yeah. And, and you're doing these kind of things. But... It's even better than that. This was a retreat you took for yourself, and I think that's yeah. a great idea. And I just wanted to reflect on some things. And one of one of the outcomes of that, I, I, I sort of looked back at my life and looked forward to, and and I I found that the times when I felt the most alive and the times that I was the most effective were not the times when I was about me myself. They were the times when I was about a mission or about a, I was about Columbus State University or I was about the Phoenix City Schools or I was about the Alexander City Schools or I was about my family. Those times when I was about me 
and what did I get and what was going to be meaningful to me. Per, I, I found that I just sort of lost my way. So that's a gut check. And yes. we, and every day, we all need one. Every day, I, I think it's a battle to to make that realization for me. I don't know if that has anything to offer about a lot of these things. <laughs> no, but I, I think it's great. Uh, and and to take the time out, I, I guess that that is kind of an issue. That well, I wanted to say something about reading a good book or reading a, yep. a book like this mm-hmm. that uh, has so much information on it, and we're reading less. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, that's that's kind of that's problem. another podcast. Isn't that's it? that's a whole another thing. But but I, I I do think you you're on the right track where you you take a break, you do some inventory on what you want, where you're at, what you're going to do. Um, don't we all need to do that? Now, I'm not so sure everybody, the, the Joe walking up and down the streets doing that. I want to wave the flag out there and say, hey, stop and think, reflect. Be introspective. Think about the future. Think about the past. Figure out your next steps. And it's not about you. It's about how you can help other people. And as soon as we get everybody on that train, I think we're going to be better off. In full disclosure, though, anyway. uh, when I was working full time and uh, had uh, a lot of res- responsibilities on my plate, it was a lot more difficult. As an old retired professor, I actually have the time to do this, so I, I'm not advocating it necessarily as, uh, hey, I did it, and, you know, that kind of thing. No, so, no, but yeah. I think it, it does make sense, and I'm all yeah. about uh, folks taking time out to really think about what they want and how they're going to get it, what's stopping them from getting it, uh, making good decisions that not only affect themselves but f- affecting others. So we try to do that in our counseling efforts, and I think it's something that we probably need to do as individuals. Mm-hmm.